back of him one, so we now have got now three miles to the sense. We are ready, let's start the sending now. So down to two zero. Customs at our destination, flight attendants will begin handing out forms momentarily. Please review and complete these forms to keep them with you for presentation upon arrival. Sierra Bravo Golf Romeo. The Apollo, yes. Sunset off my one one to two o'clock. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I took off from Chalvel got about twelve ish noon. Now it's twenty one forty seven now, Zulia. Now twenty one forty seven. Twenty one forty seven Zulia. QNH in um, Sao Paulo is 1018. Now okay, I get 1018. Uh, um, that's time 2921000. Uh, yeah. That's time 21000. One zero one eight. No change. So we use flats full today as per standard standard. So we use flats full today as per standard Airbus procedure. Uh, flaps three only really. Uh, it's barely ever used flaps three for one way off. Of course, Boeing and Flaps 30 is, I think, the standard, although Flaps 40 is commonly used. Well, I'm not too sure what the difference is right, when Flaps 40 is needed, but I assume it to do with runway length and performance wise. Say a shorter runway and heavier aircraft needs uh, um, a shorter stopping distance and therefore less speed, therefore more flap. Based 
gone back to it really. Apart from that, I'm not too sure. But I'll stick with the. I'll, I'll just stick with the um, principles. I do want to say a quick apology for earlier and shall we go long than I expected because I had to set up um, packs and them earlier and I had to wait longer. You know, I've been here over an hour long, which I've not had in mind. <laughs> but well, here we go.
and on the fastening seatbelt sign. Please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Brazil. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash one final time. Please ensure tray tables are stowed and seats are in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks and stow any larger electronics. Go lower, 6,000 feet by low mount. 6,000 is inox. Okay, just past Golf Romeo 262 at level 130. That's good. Appropriate uh, sample by level between 9 and 8,000 feet. Yeah, that can work. We're at minimal speed so far, which is a very good one. Use some of that if you need to. So, if we go around, what the alternate airport is the um, South Paulo? The alternate is, I might find it, isn't it? SBK, FB, KP, okay. So, Sierra Bravo Kilo Papa, which is Vila Copos, okay, more or less, 1.5, okay, where's that on the map? No rough please need some help. Where is the other map? What should he somewhere else like um, Rio we can look much bigger and also just, just nearby. Congonio is our question way too small for now about 8 8.30 8, believe me. I've been there at least once and that was a very terrifying experience for reasons. It's a very small airport it's tucked away right in the heart of South Paulo and it's very difficult to land and take off from because of the short runways the um, it's on a plateau above the city and that becomes very difficult affair sometimes, especially during raining condition where a runway can be um, uh, um, have a layer of rain on it and hydro and plane and hydroplan that's step on the water and skid down the runway. It has had fateful confront before into it though, but it's not really a child about to go into in instance, but it just something to be aware of, a little wariness. And lights, okay, that okay, tech turns on now it's on no pipes is going on to everything off there is. Okay, we just passed right there. Ooh, where's the, where's the um, ground? <laughs> See cloud. Ooh, it's okay. Good, no one. Yeah, no good plans here. Yeah. No, no red or yellow anywhere. Any red would be very bad news. Any red would, would signify a terrain that either at my level or above it. And that's a hazard, especially. So it's all clear. Yeah. 
all that stuff. Yeah, one zero five, going in. Maintaining the managed speed band between 230 knots and 255 knots an hour. So, no worry, because in an Airbus like this, the autofrog will manage it by itself. So, if it becomes too low in an Airbus, it would ma under, unless under certain circumstances, it would automatically adjust accordingly. Yeah. Boeing, not so much. Triple seven, some out of seven eight seven, possibly because it's much more, it's more modern than all the frost but it's still a bow out. Very more attentive, more manual input than the Airbus. Where do we get? So where is uh, uh, Sao Paulo Airport? Is that plan B down there? Uh, it appears to be. Uh, feet for now, and I go for the lower altitude, which is 4,100 feet, I think, yeah, it's 4,100 feet, go, so 4, 1, and that will be good, I think, just make sure nothing's in the way, nope, it's all clear, excellent, airport in sight, that's it, my nine o'clock at Sao Paulo. That's my whole range. It's looking good. Let go of the flaps one shortly, but I, I think by Loma definitely, although that purple marker between Golf Romeo 283 and Loma should be a flaps one, I think, there. Okay, well, no, good to me. So we've got um, down lights there all along, uh, auto brakes armed and medium, spoilers there armed. I'm happy. in the 7,000 feet for 6,000 feet. Yeah. 
ETF is taking me into altitude constraints. I'm completely normal, I'm from the flight plan, that's about at part of the flight plan, that's about the arrival at 6,000 feet at low minimum. 2,500. Checked. Radio atoms are alive. That's good visual. It's all good. Okay, left turn very short there. Two thousand five hundred. It's checked. Your left turn. Two thousand. Two thousand. Just patch your to south. Um, over here. Two thousand. Ignore it. A little. Yeah, here it comes from. Here we go. LS. Um, 12 miles. Yeah, Congonius over there. Congo that's Congonius, and over here is Sao Paulo International. Much more suited to large airliners like mine. The Congonius, believe me. Two thousand five hundred. Okay. So to be clear, flaps two at ten mile. That's not that's not a, a, real, a real procedure. I'm aware of. That's just what I do. Get more to manage speed much more um, preferably for me. Keep the speed low. Make sure that there is beyond landing or the weight until very short, very short before touchdown. Get the flaps to the floor. Because. Not where the if a Neo is not known for being very really fast decelerating when it's land down. So we have to be careful with this maybe. Alright, let's do this. Perhaps two.
Brazil. The local time is 7.13 p.m. and it's currently about 10 degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bin as items may have shifted during the flight. We thank you for flying with us. I've got the standby. Zero um, nine one way zero nine left. Stay here. Some more taxi. Stop here. So we're here at Hotel Soup Sierra Three. Bravo, Bravo. So the taxi across to our, there's a taxi across runway zero nine left onto the Lima. Left on Bravo, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go Lima Bravo Hotel. Excellent. Okay, weather radar. Is off. Good. Okay, taxi. Like this. So taxi cross zero nine left at Hotel Sierra Three on Bravo Bravo. Then via Lima Bravo Hotel, parking uh, area Yankee Thrill. Yeah. 
you Juliet? You can confirm it. Yes, Juliet. Excellent. Now power 
Okay, I've got some um, stuff on. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, get rid of that. Two pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull off. Welcome to Sao Paulo. So that was the flight, that was the arrival in Sao Paulo for the flight from Chicago to Sao Paulo. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, tomorrow we'll do a returning flight, this time from Rio de Janeiro to, um, from Rio de Janeiro to Paris de Gaulle. So that'll be tomorrow, I think about 12 noon, because that one getting to about midnight in Charles de Gaulle, it's more convenient for me. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.